Hmm, how do I look like today? I think I need a shave, but not an ordinary shaver would do. I think I have to take this one here because I get it sent, got it sent from Hacker.com. It's the Xiaomi Mia S300. I was not even sure or did not even know that Xiaomi is creating electric shavers. But uh, as it turns out, they are doing even this. So this is part of the Xiaomi product line. And as you can see on the packaging, it looks already very futuristic and simple by design. So we will do an unboxing and review of the Xiaomi Mia S300. And this video is sponsored by Hacker. So if you never heard of Hacker.com, here's a small introduction. Hacker is an online platform which offers affordable and well-made gadgets, smartphones, laptops and other electronic products from famous brands like Lenovo, Xiaomi, OnePlus and many more. If you want to buy something from Hacker, get your discount code PODCAST10 now to save $10 on your first order. Let's take a look around the device packaging uh, of the S300 from Mia. It is all in Chinese, but you can see you get the razor blades here, the usual one, three types, uh, also for bigger beards and 3D like petal uh, option. Type C for charging, wonderful. So I can take my charger for my phone and charge my electric shaver when I'm out and about. Some more Chinese, but you see also some specification like 3.7 volts, uh, S300, uh, 3 watts, uh, 5 uh, volts and 1 ampere charging for example. And we have uh, wet shaving of course, we have 60 minutes of battery life, we have 10 minutes of uh, charging 60 minutes, 60 hours of battery life, of course, and 10 minutes of charging and uh, a smart lock for the holiday. If you take this out for the holiday, let's get rid of the packaging. How do I open this up? There we go. There we go. And yeah, here we have the product itself. As you can see, the electric shaver comes with a little hood here and of course a protection foil that protects the protects the blades and as i told you yeah, it has this pedal uh, pattern here so it goes shapes in when you're pressing against your cheeks um, and we have like this i think it's two blades set up three blades in total but they have two ring blades and it's something in the middle i think i'm not sure if it's for shaving as well a simple button I think here are some LEDs for the lock and for the battery and at the back there's a flap of course because it is all waterproof and here you have your USB type C charging port which is pretty nice and I think this is the Xiaomi logo or Mia logo and uh, yeah we have an option here for taking off the blades I think yep you can open it up can take a look it's all plastic here uh, plastic knobs but yeah, this is the usual stuff that you get this looks a bit more complicated here to take off the blades but definitely you are able also to take off the blades and to clean them individually or just simply exchange them if necessary and of course i can put it on as easily as i put it off so pretty nice indeed this a little electric shaver and this cool thing is you can see that this one has like uh, can be placed here on the bottom so you can just simply stand it up and let it uh, be there what else is in the box we have a usb type c to a cable um, short one for sure it's a very short one as you can see if you have like already a smartphone charger you can just simply use the smartphone charger and i think some manual instructions here and warranty cards and how to use it, how to clean it up, all in Chinese here, but you get some pictures that uh, tell you what to do. And of course you can clean it up also with water because it is waterproof. And here it gives you instructions on how to shave yourself. And yeah, of course those shavers usually uh, you go into circles uh, to shave yourself, which is uh, yeah the usual stuff that you get also from others. And here another booklet with instructions on what comes in the box and some more information also on battery battery life 
and uh, how it would look like if it blinks in the various battery uh, departments how much uh, battery is there still and uh, yeah press and hold probably for locking it and again how to clean it up so pretty nice uh, only in Chinese I think the instructions and here's some more instructions on how to clean stuff out and take it apart even as you can see which is pretty nice I never saw that so you can take apart the whole structure there and even replace batteries as it looks like which might be also pretty interesting if you have to do this one day so yeah it's a very affordable and uh, cheapish kind of uh, uh, razor electric shaver so let's take a look and I will give you my experience how it works after I first shaved myself with this one here uh, so now I'm in my bathroom I want to use the uh, Mia Xiaomi Mia S300 and you can see how compact this really looks like and with this you can just put it in your backpack and take it wherever you want to so it will fit uh, in and for 20 euros I think even if you lose some <laughs> so this one here or something like this it wouldn't be such a big um, yeah financial burden on you anyway I will start it now there's a start button here and uh, yeah this start button if you hold it longer you can lock it but if you just press it it turns on and shows you the battery and you can hear now how loud it is I think it is not really that loud and uh, yeah I don't really have like a big beard here only two days ago that I shaved myself last time but let's see how this works out uh, so let's do it no first impression I think it looks good and uh, yeah, feels a bit like the Philips that I'm used to use. Now the Philips has a flexible head. This one has a straight head, so I have to use my mouth and move my mouth a little bit more and my hand a little more to fit this in. But so far can see pretty quickly and you should go always like in the circles here on every like those uh, free rotor blades um, shaver or razor you should go into this Circle, so it gets all the hairs and you don't pull any of your hairs which might hurt so this one is working fine I think no oh, I have to say the quality is also not bad some details here and there some hair still sticking out you don't see it so much in the reflection of the mirror and I honestly have to say that I also don't see it so much so what I usually do is like going around here and see how good of a job it did and I think you know, it did a good job how does it look like? it feels like yeah feels good quickly done so far these two days of free day day beard that you have I think you can do a pretty good job very quickly with this one without much of an issue and this is the dry shaving that I showed you right now but of course you can also do wet shaving with uh, normal foam if you are used to doing this or even go into the shower if you want to and then shave yourself there uh, when it's wet which might be a bit more comfortable for those people who have like a little bit of a skin that is a bit more sensitive to uh, shavers, electric shavers, uh, when you have them wet then usually it is working fine so you see here on the side it's still a little bit we didn't get so much but I have to say this is I think even quicker than my Philips one that also has like this free hats here so for 20 euros roughly 20 euros, a bit of more than 20 euros right now and I can just put it here and leave it there put maybe the flap on 
and of course I have to clean it up after usage you should always clean it up after usage so use this little bag here to clean it up this uh, little flap here to clean it up I'm not sure if you can see it anyway there in the back is a little flap that you open it up but yeah for 20 euros I think it did a good job fine job for this beard here three day beard and it's a good product um, it's not too loud it is quick enough I think uh, yeah one month you can use it without charging so you, I don't even have to bring a charger but if I have to charge it I can just use my phone charger because it has USB type C which is super super convenient and uh, of course this flap is protected against uh, water and uh, yeah I can even take it apart if I want to with a screwdriver on the bottom here which is also very interesting so yeah, first impression of this uh, electric shaver it's a good one so the S300 from Xiaomi Mia or Mijia I don't know how to pronounce it you can correct me if I'm wrong anyway this product is a good product it's good for an electronic shaver I would say it's a good product for travel because yeah it is so compact it has the p uh, possibility to just be packed into every uh, backpack or a luggage that you want it has the smart lock feature so it will not turn on in your luggage and start to vibrate or anything like this it's easy to clean though I would like really to have maybe a little bit a little brush as well for cleaning it up it would help a lot maybe Xiaomi can intelligently integrate this brush somewhere here so you don't have to lose it or don't have to put it in a separate bag or something like this otherwise there's a nice clip that protects the um, uh, the razors itself and uh, it's easy to use uh, no issues with this USB type C charging 10 minutes and you can go like four hours and hours for uh, charge for for shaving which is like super super cool and I think one month or even more that uh, it holds its charge depending on how long or how often you are using this one it's pretty pretty cool and this only for 20 euros yeah, I can just say I am impressed by this because I spent a little bit more money on my Philips shaver that basically did not even get a better result than this one here. Um, the only thing that I can think of is the Philips one has like a head that can move. But yeah, I think Xiaomi also has the S500 that you can also find on hacker.com if you want to have like the more advanced with a moving head kind of a version of this one. But this here for travel shaper, shaver, but electronic shaver, even for yeah every third day or something shaving I could imagine using this instead of the Philips one for cheaper money and it's yeah basically the same results better flexibility in terms of USB type C I really like this product I have nothing negative to say about this the only thing that I'm a bit worried here in Europe might be the the razors exchanging them finding the right sizes for this one uh, this I did not try it because I did not have to but if I have to my I might run into issues but we'll see how this will develop this is something that i can only give, give you as a feedback in a few years maybe uh, depending on how good uh, this will hold usually they hold up for years um, to be honest i also i think i have my my phillips one for three years and did not had to change the hat yet and the razors there because it's just working as good as it worked before but it all depends on how much you use it of course anyway that's everything for this little review and if you want to find this product don't forget the um the, what is it podcast 10 code for hacker.com where you can get 10 dollars off then you can get like ten dollars roughly nine eight euros maybe you can get it even for cheaper like 15 euros or something like this so keep this in mind there will be a link to this product as well on the hacker.com website thank you hacker for sponsoring this video i know it's a sponsored video but that doesn't mean that i'm like influenced by them in any way it's just like i'm testing the product just like i would like test any other product and give you my honest feedback about this and this one is a good one i really have to say for what it is worth like 20 euros and can get it even cheaper with this discount code it's like a no-brainer just for if you are able to travel around again and you need a shaver you're a man um, then this one is for you definitely that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye